Hey YouTube, so I'm in a totally new setting, I'm in the midst of moving, it's crazy, I don't even want to talk about it, but one thing never changes in my life and um, that of course is the Dollar Tree and I have another Dollar Tree haul for you today, I think this is Dollar Tree haul 12, that's a lot. So I am i didn't really have a reason to go. There's a few things that I kind of just always get at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I'll show you what those are. And I didn't get very many beauty items today. But I did pick up this Sally Hansen nail polish, which has been at the Dollar Tree a lot lately. Just different Sally Hansen products and NYC nail polishes. Um, sometimes you can get those two for a pack. Um, but this one is just one, and it's this bubblegum pink. And as you can see here, it's... Um, Maximum Growth Nail Color, and um, I have been keeping polish on my nails pretty much all day, every day. If I take my polish off, I immediately put on a new coat just in one sitting. Um, if I take my polish off, I do a new style right after. Um, and because of that, my nails have been chipping, um, and it just hasn't been good. It's been really annoying. So I'm hoping that this Maximum Growth stuff will, I don't know, be helpful, and it's in a pretty bubble bubblegum pink color, which I don't have any colors like that, surprisingly. I feel like pink is pretty common. Um, <laughs> also, speaking of pink, I'm not really a pink person, but this little tiny lunchbox was just a dollar, um, and I'm going to need it for the school year um, when I just want to pack something little. I have like a big lunchbox that I could put a bunch of Tupperware in, but I thought this little thing would just be great for something small, or maybe just like a, I think I could fit like two or three waters in here and it's insulated and it was just a dollar. Um, I kind of wonder if I could do some sharpie pattern on this because it's just a, a nylon, is that what you call this? Anyways, um, then I also got um, toothpaste that I always get at the Dollar Tree. I really need to double check if the ounceage compared to the price at like Walmart because I might actually not be getting a good deal for a dollar for 3.5 ounces. I'm not sure. But I just always get it at the Dollar Tree for right now. Then I got these um, champagne glasses that are just plastic. They also have a set of six champagne glasses that you kind of like just assemble um, out of the package. And it's a little bit thinner plastic than this, but the you only get like that much liquid, like maybe two to four ounces of liquid. And this would contain a lot more and I always seem to show you like um, alcohol related cups like I think I bought plastic they were called like shooters or something that I was using for something totally different a shaved ice project um, so I don't know everyone probably seems some too much alcoholic but um, I got four of these for a picnic that I'm having with um, some girlfriends so you can get um, six for a dollar but they're much much smaller um, and so for just a buck more, I only needed four anyways, so for one dollar more I got a bigger size. And um, I also got a pack of 60 needles. If you've seen my other Dollar Tree hauls, I've picked up um, one or two um, small sewing kits. Like I think they're called emergency sewing kits. And the needles in there are too big for me to do my beading projects with, um, which is generally why I'm picking those up. I probably could go to the craft store and get this, but anyways, this has like some really, really tiny needles in there that I think will work for my seed beads. Um, then the last thing I got, <laughs> sorry, the last things that I got are all for a craft project that I'm going to film either tonight or tomorrow, um, and I'll post it, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to, whenever I see something that I like and I know I can make, I snap a picture of it in the store and then later um, when I come across the stuff, I'll buy it. So I'm going to be making a really cute natural um, floral display and that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> um, so watch my upcoming video. But I got two of these um, foam for floral decor things. Um, the plastic kind, not the really squishy foam because that makes a huge mess. So I got two of these and then um, I got leaves which will cover the most of the top of it. These really nice dark green ones. They had tons of different like ivy, um, like hangy garland ivy or different types of ivy on stems like this. Um, my Dollar Tree is a small Dollar Tree but it has a really large floral section. 
so I got another one of these. And then I got just one um, thing of flowers. And they're, like I said, a large floral apartment. So there was a lot of different types of flowers. Um, but I thought these looked, I mean, obviously they all look fake. But um, I thought these, these weren't, these kind of have like a felty, or not a felt, a velvety type of feel to them. So they do look fake, but almost in sort of like um, a nostalgic way rather than those other cheap ones that just look so much like plastic. So um, I plan to use these and um, I'll be making two little um, flower decor things with this and I'll be collecting sticks outside. Um, so I think that's probably like a $5 craft for all the materials that I bought, but it should be making two of them. So $2.50. So stay tuned for that. Talk to you later, guys.